Yo. <clears throat> Dear gentle ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm still a little bit sick, so my voice is maybe not that perfect. Uh, I will have to like <coughs> just do this a lot, and maybe even, <coughs> and sometimes I might even mute myself to snooze in my noser. Uh, we'll just see. It will be fine. We have for this incredible day an in, in, in appearance on the uh, Sweet Bowl League Six match number two hundred uh, two hundred and two which turn it into between Ira and Stick and Peak and the Greif uh leaves the chat. What's happening with the bats? And I think I will already mute myself because my nose is so filled with shit I can't breathe. So, be right back. Well, they do me too, I think. Uh, wait, let me see. Oh, I'm running in the chat. Uh, 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 they started banning Climax and Stardust. Eh, hey, no, no. Okay, I'm back while we have a uh, new trauma appearing on Discord. Apparently, Stein abused his admin powers to reopen a uh, closed tip to vote himself. What a beast. Uh, it is actually on this match that he abused his powers for this purpose. And we'll go over the tips in a moment. But first, let's focus on the veto. So. Climax and Nana Vector are the maps that ERA wants to get rid of. Maps where I think passing is quite important and like building up attacks over two sides kind of. I don't know, like that's kind of what I think about when I think about these two maps. Stardust and Xibalba are the choices from Stick and Peak. That's two diff very different maps. Stardust is a very big fight heavy map. Uh, Xibalba, a very defense heavy map I would say. And the first pick will also be Kubota, a map we've seen a lot. It might be one of the most played maps this league. I could check that but I'm too lazy. <coughs> and um, yeah, also quite fighting heavy. I think it's kind of similar to Stardust, not just not so extreme. I feel like Stardust is a more extreme version of Kubota, kind of, maybe. Lucid is the pick of Iral. Okay, very, very classic pick. Um, that's pretty the most played map. Uh, always, since it was created, pretty much. Um, defense heavy, I would say. Not much moving possibilities. Not much rush possibilities. I'm pretty sure that's something Ra wants. Is that they have control of the game. Because I don't think they have maybe not that much trust in their uh, defending rushes yet also not much of a Russia team themselves they wanna team play, they wanna kill I think pass I feel like they're doing good with passing very uh, classic pick so far, nothing too crazy what else could we see here uh, we still have a Aeon in, 
could be a second peak pick. Uh, Barbalan still in Golden Age. I think it might also be Golden Age. Might be an interesting map for this match. Uh, Calypso is also still in, if I'm not mistaken. We also have Mythology. Yeah, that's it. Mythology, Calypso, Golden Age. A decade as well. I forgot decade. Babylon and Ion. I'm, I I could imagine Ira picking decade actually. And for second peak they might go for mythology. Let's see if I'm correct with this tip. While we're talking about tips and the Vita is not continuing anyway. Uh, we can look at the uh, tips for the match, uh, the outcome, what you guys voted, what I voted, what the players themselves voted. Um, so, we have for a win of Ira, a 4 0 win is Yanni and Hawken. So, Hawken himself in this team hopes or believes that he can win this 4 0. Then, two more votes for a uh, 3 1 by Ira. Then the majority of six people, well, actually just five, but someone cheated himself in here, going for a draw. Um, four people believing a free one for Secret Peak, and only one person believes Secret Peak can win 4 0, and that is Gamerox himself. He is very confident, as is Hawken. The other people involved, oh, Cryf is also involved, he goes for a draw. And I think the other three, Okichatic and Copert, do not vote at all, ever. So yeah, so it's like, Gamer and Hawken who believe in their own team, Super Macho Cryf is a more realistic guy maybe, going for a draw as the majority does. I voted for 3 one for Iral, but actually... I'm not so sure now anymore. I, hmm. I feel like Ira is improving and they have what it takes. On the other side, Secret Peak and last match is not so strong. I feel like Gamerock's currently not on this high. Okay, they're not going for Mythology, they're going for Aeon. Usually, we vote uh, Vitas with Gamerock's so always take long, I've noticed. And I'm playing for him as well. Uh, decade is the last pick. That's what I. That's what I tipped. So at least one of my map tips was correct. Let's find out if my match tip is also correct. We have stats. We have f more stats here, um, but nothing because not played yet. Ion. Yeah, I, I thought about Ion as well. It's a it's a rather faster map. Much fighting, not so much passing, because it's quite small. You can uh, the middle is unsafe. You can get attacked everywhere, so you always need to be moving. You always need to be fighting, fast passes, stuff like this. We see um, Second Peaks going for some pings here in the beginning, but also Ira does some pings. So they are both teams are so kind of checking out what's going on. How can it save case? Uh, Waiting for him for sure. And now I think they're just running around. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Hawken moves. Talking about last few strategies. This is, uh, actually, let me check. 
this is the first match. I think uh, Stick and Peak already had a match in phase two for um <coughs> For yeah, it's the first one. Yeah, for second peak, it's the second match in this um, phase. Second peak is currently leading the second phase, or uh, the second division. Sorry, I should have mentioned all of this, right? It's a, uh, it's second uh, phase, second division. Ira is quite at the bottom. CKP currently mid with more than double the points, but it's not that much because the points got halved and now we're starting with Vira versus CKP. Let's go! Okay, the first one to take the ball, she can survive a bit for a moment, but then falls to Chertek. Uh, only one second big player here surviving. Hawken gets saved by Copralala. Asking for heal pass but gets killed before Hawken already going for a uh, semi kind of rush. And it was a good pass. Can it connect to the high ground? Oh, Chatek is leaving Hawken quite alone but the pressure wasn't really on. And now Chatek can already make it to the pole. He touches a little bit 70, uh, 72%. We have one kill on pole. Yes. Well, should be saved. There's one more. Um, Attacker actually getting the kill on the ball as well. Oh, and a nice double on Gamer. He will try, not really, but then not. Uh. is there getting a kill on Uke, getting a kill on Gamer. So, what's going on? Ira is on fire. They're absolutely destroying this team right now. All these double taps. And Secret Peak being very friendly here for this first round. And telling them how well they did. It just started off really, really strong. But it's not over yet. One point, and we have a secret peak in the ball possession. When you do the pass to gamer, he will not get it. At this one, he will he can heal. But there's already someone on his feet. Let's go back to Grive, that was safe gamer, but he also takes the damage that he cannot heal now. Pass going further back to Uke, but while gamer falls, couldn't really use that good position in he was. So the pressure will stay strong on the ball. Uh, Uke wants to pass back, that almost connected. Another try, yeah, ball is safe. But uh, now Grive falls. And it's just the same thing happening over and over. Okay, asking for an aggressive pass here. And then Amelia passing it back, but since she was standing still, the push came in and the double came in. Pre fire, kind of. Uh. Oh, and the risky kill here from pass to Cobra and Gamer abused this. And there's no one that can stop this. There was a mistake by Ra completely, but a nice read from a Gamer that saw this pass coming. But then Cobra didn't drop down and he just died in the worst position and it was an easy point for Gamer after. So we won one. A nice play here. Okay, falls. Oh, Gamer can do some good damage here. More damage. Always good. <laughs> and then he dies. We can Grive. Yes, Grive can kill the last two remaining Ira players. That's a quite hot start. I'm sorry if I'm s uh, not sticked in right now. Oh, what is going on here? Nobody did uh, enter the match time on the sheet. So I'll have to do that. So the first map is Kubota. We have today the 8th of. August 22. Yes. Oh, fuck. Twenty thirty. Sorry if there's no cast going on. That's what when teams don't take care of the sheet, which are uh, obligated to. Uh, what are the other maps? I lose it. 
Aeon and Decade. So far I won one. No percentage has been taken. What does the state say? More board possession of a secret peak actually after this one great run from Miral, but the hits are still on Miral's side. Passes a lot from Secret Peak for this very early game so far. And two capture tries already by Ral. I think that was both in the first round though. <coughs> well we have actually some attack going on here for the Ira team. Can the pass connect? Yes it does greatly before the ball carrier dies, the pass goes through, but it cannot help them touching. Cobra is so far with the most hits here. Um not the passes, yeah damn. They're doing so much passing. Other than that, not much of interest so far. Let's see how this situation evolves. Graf sees an opening and he will try, but there's one attacker uh, defender taking care. It was a risky move. If he didn't hit these rockets it would have been looked very bad, but then we have Hawken just making the casual ace here and opening this nice promising attack here for his team. Let's see if someone can make it to the pool. We have someone on the other side. Oh, Hawken going for a kill and okay, let's see. He gets it. Cobra Moving back, yeah, they would lost the ball here. Chiatic respawned. Let's see if Cooper does the same. No, he will try to get the kill on Gamer, but he does not for now. There's no gameplay, Gamer. Uh, I'm sorry. Why did I call you Gamer? No gameplay. It's Kubota. People are just fighting in the middle. Pass to the right side. Okay, can't reach it, but she's also just one armor and just defender her behind her, so probably very good. Okay, ah, oh. they both saw it. Okay, we went for the pull. Okay, we tried to pass, but both of them died. So did Grive. <laughs> well, that didn't work out, and hopefully Cooper doesn't die here. He's safe for now. One player there as well to make sure this uh, blue play can't rush him. I'm not saying anything bad about Kubota, just saying that uh, it's a little fighting in the middle and not so much interesting stuff. Uh, this looks interesting, a nice position here from Hawk and he kind of doesn't use it as well as Chatik shoots in his back, but the uh, pass is coming to the opponent. Can Hawk and do some damage here? Can he maybe snipe off the ball? Nope. Ball has been safe with a good pass. Hawk and will just continue trying to do some yeah, pressure and stick a peek. I see Hawken and I think also Cobra on one armor. Chatek also dies. This could be very promising for Stick and Peak while we're going into the instant phase. But it's taking quite long and at least Chatek should be healed now. If Cobra dies, Grif goes through. Can he pass? Okay. Can he pass? Okay. No, he cannot. Can Okay get a kill? She can, but she also dies and this attack is over. That was really close. Nice promising attack. Didn't work out this time. The remaining defenders did a quite good job there. Made it really hard for Grife to get that clean pass on Uke. He could see it from his perspective, that was not an easy task. A good kill even Grife, that should end this attack with this important kill. Yes, it is a draw, that's what we like to see. That's a good quote. I stand by this quote. I actually don't stand by this quote, but I, I'll let you have this quote. Sh uh, like, we need more shit, shit quotes, trash quotes, and I I'm here for it. For some trashy, stupid quotes. No gameplay. It's Kubota. Damn. 
Not true, but I take it. I said it, and I meant it, but I don't mean it. Get it? Oh, that bomb's up there. So. Oh, the pressure is too high on Ira. What the hawk can do to. Yeah, nothing much. Oh, a good kill from game saves the okay there. It's under pressure. Pass is going to cry. Let's see what Gamer can do here. Can he deal some damage? All the defenders are there, but he gets damage in himself. Now asking for the pass for heal, I guess. I, uh, I mean, his carrier is under pressure, so. Couldn't really get the pass here, so he goes for the kill and Hawken instead. Is okay dead in the meantime? Or is she somewhere? Oh, yeah, she died, yeah. Didn't see that. Oh, I don't know if this is a good pass, but the uh, gamer doesn't take it, so. <coughs> All good. I will explain in a moment, and this attack is over. It looks like, yeah, not much will happen here. Oh, okay. If <laughs> the unfortunate TK or T team hit. Oh, another one. <laughs> The other team's side. Oh, nice bump it. Yeah, I get the ball. So the thing is, what I want to say is, I, uh, I want to say, I said that and I stand by it. But I actually don't mean it. <laughs> I actually think Kubo has great game team play uh, or gameplay. But it, I uh, like, I like this shitty quotes so I will say I stand by it but actually I don't dude I slapped two mosquitoes already they forgot to turn on the shumania hitbox I wish I could do that wait no wait what is it good I guess it's... When I turn off the Shermania hitbox, do I have a better hitbox then? Oh, <laughs> Hawken almost got the pass here. Gets the kill in game at all. And the pass to Grive saves the ball for Seek and Peek. I'm pretty sure they still have <laughs> more ball possession. The ball gets often passed back, so yeah. A lot of passes as well still the case here and uh, yeah they're building something up. I actually thought that uh, Ira would be the team that's passing more. But it is definitely a second peak here. No. <laughs> Cryf really wants to heal Gamer while he's mid fight. Pass again very far back to Uke. And it's quite annoying to play against actually if like the ball is just always in the back of the field. Oh now the pressure is on Uke. What would she do with it? Bumps the opponent, that's a good idea. Oh wow, a nice catch by Gamer. He had to go on the outside of the fence where there's not that much way. And the Gamer sees an opening. He can probably get through. Where's the pre-fire? There's one defender. He touches and he caps. Well seen by Gamer. Once again, not that good defended by Ira. And we can actually have a lead. Uh, we actually do have a lead and points for second peak 2 1. <coughs> the passes are just so one sided. Holy shit. They're passing so much more. So much more. And uh, we have again an attack going on with Cryf and Gamer getting two hi kills each. Or like one hi kill each, I mean. Can uh oh another kill two kill uh, all three kills no there's one guy still alive the pass went through the block and it's a cup that pass looked kind of cheaty to be honest that went through the fucking pillar but we take it um that's a free one for seek a peek winning the first map here he gets Iran. It went to through other two players, but I think like it went actually past them, at least from what I remember. But that 
like it really looked like oh no it will hit the pillar and they have to try it again and then probably the ball carrier dies before the next pass but then the pass just connected and I was like okay that wouldn't have happened to me if I would be the one passing or receiving the pass it would have hit the pillar but sometimes the game is nice to you pixel shot pixel pass of course, all intended to look more wicked. <coughs> that was uh, that last round. Secret Peak actually got a lot of uh, hits. And I think I didn't show stats at the end. Showed them all the time during the match, but not at the end. I should update the score. One free here, and then also. I'll do it here. One, three. Oh, I should also write the maps maybe here. Aha, I did it on the sheet, but not here. Kubota. Lose it. Aeon. And Decade. I wanna check in the meantime. Uh, what the other match is doing. What? I already played three maps? Holy shit, they're fast. Yeah, the map just ended. Golden Age just ended after like mo the one play had only 37 hits. It's going really quick and it's going for Brave 4 so far. Uh, only one map remaining and last chance, last map chance for Naves to make it into Division 1. If they don't win this one map, they will not make it into Division 1, they will stay in Division 2. And Firefirds will be the one uh, taking advantage of it. Anyway. We're back to the players that are definitely in Division 2. Seek and Peek and the Ra, which doesn't mean they are bad. As we see, great team play, great attacks, great match so far. Can the Ra turn it around or will Seek and Peek take the momentum as Hawkins sees a very good opening? Oh my god. What is he doing? Wait, wait. Oh, he ran it. Oh, this is on his own side. Wait, is it? No, he's not! He could have run through! It was a good chance! What happened? How did he take the bumper so weird? Oh. Can the. Uh, Shad take a Cobra get the uh, kill each? Where's Cobra going? Ah, uh, no! Pass and pull, Hawken takes this one really nicely and they can finally make this in the cap. There was so much going wrong with this attack actually, but they somehow made it. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> There's a lot that happened to this attack. I don't know why Hawken didn't rush at the beginning. I think that was very promising. Oh, everyone was in the middle. I think this is what I saw. And then, like when Hawken went on pull, Cobra just came his way. He was like, "No, I'm out of this attack, dude. You guys continue. I'm, I did my part. See ya, see ya. I'm going to defend <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe they did a call of like I that the ball carry is under pressure, but it was like already over again because Chatik took care of it. It was weird. Anyway, point for you all. Anyway. Uh, again, much passing here from Secret Peak. They just pass left, right, center. Small, small distances, but also big distances. They pass everything. Cobra here, not under pressure for now. He can keep the ball quite good. He's, as you can see, very confident with moving around. And sees an opening. There's one defender at least. Is okay. Second one. 
One hit going in, the second hit going in. Oh, and everyone is dead. Of the right team that is. Uh, they got laid out of it. Gamer holding his team a bit high. Here is Cryf and Uke not doing too many hits so far. But it's only the beginning of the round, everything is possible. But this looks more to be a map for Ira, which would make sense. Since it's their pick, while well, Kubota was the pick of Second Peak. So everything going as the team's planned so far, I guess. Winning their own picks, but this map is obviously not won yet for Ira. They are only one point ahead and the lead for the second round. Nice try here from Cryf to do that pass and okay, that could have been good, but didn't work out. Oh, that was a nice try again. But game was nowhere to be seen. Even more damage on the ball, but also falls. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying. Oh yeah. Wow, well, he got more percent out of it. Well moved there by Chatik, dodging these rockets like a pro. Pass the gamer, but dies mid air and uh, <laughs> so many teammates going on here with the passes not connecting. Okay, receiving that pass here, moving around to make sure she doesn't get cut off, which is important. Thankfully, uh, one of the teammates was there to. Oh, she's getting rushed, but came with a nice kill. Securing the ball for Sneak and Peak. That she need to make this attack, but then they leave her alone again. And Doku making a big jump towards the opponent doesn't help either. Now Cobra is going. Oh, the pool was open for a while, but actually. Uh, Gamer hit him and could shoot at him. Nice pass on Uke. Will she get pushed? Not for now. Now she will. Oh, game actually took that pass. I don't know if you saw it or it was coincidence. Either way, it was nice. Oh, we have one Ira player quite far in. Oh, and he chose to give up this position to kill Gryf here. Was not really a threat. Uh, I mean, maybe he was. Game are trying to kill the ball guy here. He can take the ball, which slows on the attack a little bit. This is good. And there's now a full on fight here going on. Okay, dancing for her life, and she's doing so good. They cannot hit her. And instead, everyone just dies. The Gryph was actually the only one that hit Okay there. But he also hit the opponents, so all good. But slowly but surely the time is running out for Seek and Peak. They need to seek a way to touch the pole. 20 seconds left. Gryph getting ready to pass and pull, but the game was actually not going, so Gryph goes himself. There's at least one defender and there's definitely some people behind him. This move was a nice idea, but uh, not well executed. So... Yeah, getting up the stairs on Lucid. Oh, <laughs> nice last kill here. Last second. Just getting these two hits, these two points. You never know. <laughs> well predicted, though. <laughs> K 
Cooper was for a moment looking at this fight between Shattuck and Hooker, and I was like, nah, you, you're fine, you can deal with it alone, I don't wanna go into this 1v1. And then, and then away, oh, okay, nice, intervening here, slowing down the, the attack, and actually making sure they can't reach the ball and drive, brings it to the opponent now, but actually brings it in the opponent in terms of shooting it in your face and then killing you. Ah, oh, disgusting double tap here from Gamer. But looks like Ira will be able to take control over the ball. Maybe not for now, there's still pressure. Drive is getting the ball here. A lot of fighting going on. Who will truly be saving this ball? Drive maybe, one armor, but gamers dead, so again the pressure will be high. Okay, see it to maybe build like a little safe spot for Grife. Arch defaults as well. Grife needs to run back. Ira must make sure that they leave no opening for this nice rush attempt, and they do so. See if we can still fight for the ball, but at least it's not a point. This looks actually somewhat promising. Grive opening this right side, making two defenders there focus on him. He just wants to stay alive at this point. The one defender can still focus on Gamer. Okay, oh, Grive is on pole, he can receive that pass. Oh, a nice pass here on Gamer, but uh, it's just percentage. And Grive also falls. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a nice pass, but the defense was there, so no problem for Seek and Peek, who now for the first time have touched the pool on this map. To zero is what they're looking at. Oh, it was actually not the first. Oh, yeah, they did. They just did two capture tries. It's definitely in favor of Ira, the ball possession and passes. Oh my god, the passes. Are in favor of Seek and Peek. And Gamer. F I thought he would find an opening, but he doesn't use it really. Fighting, fighting, <coughs> okay, hiding. Pass to Hawken does not connect, and Hawken also dies. And now it's uh, Ira that's running out of time. Cobra can make sure that they get the ball back soon, maybe with this kill on Uke, making it harder for Seek and Peak to save the ball with the passes. But actually, do they even need it? This gamer is on pole in instant, and this is the point. I didn't see quite. Did he use the slide? Did he use the 
non glitch slides. <laughs> Might have. Oh, gamer getting a hit on each of the era players. Now he just needs some kills, but he cannot get them. So that leaves the sim team to do them. But actually, era is doing quite fine without. Uh, with just one armor. Now Cobra falls. Shatek also. And a Hawker needs to find a way to get the fuck out of here. But. Uh, so this is gamer that's now running away from Hawken. It's definitely someone on the toes of Hawken, but in the end it's Corpora that takes him down. Ah, oh, close to the nice pass here, but that was opponent anyway. What will Cooper do here? He has a good position. One good hit. What will he do now? He's going back to save his ball carrier. Does so. Oh, Chatek. Wait, no, Hawken. He's in a promising position now. Cry falls. This should be a point. Not yet. The kill is made. Chatek does it. Chatek saves the day for second peak by killing Hawken here. MVP. <laughs> that pass didn't last long. I mean, the ball possession for. Okay, book. Oh, gamer, the Austrian powerhouse here. The ball. Can he do some moves? Oh, a nice bump in the in the hole, and he sees this one of his mates going on pole. The pass is coming, and he actually connects. A very nice pass. This one should be clipped. Saw so his uh, teammate going towards Paul. Wasn't sure if he would actually do it, if he would survive it as well. But it connected. And they got some percentage. Unfortunately, it's not even the lead though. I just see that. And it's Ira, that's looking still good. They could win this map, still in lead on the last, like for them last round. They need to win. The gamer gets a good kill on Cobra. Now it's becoming difficult for this attack. However, they're still just starting the reduction phase at this moment, so. Now it can still happen. Now the caps will be faster. The required capture time sinks with every moment now. Oh, we have some ping on pull. Cryf gets it. He's one armor and he falls. It's not yet enough reduction phase. Like I said, just started, so it was just a little bit faster. Would have been later and it could have been a cap, but actually, oh no, I didn't pay attention. So did the guy that I was backing. <sighs> I had my eyes on the only defender that didn't pay attention to what was going on. My bad, but also the bad of that defender. <laughs> I don't even remember who it was, so double my bad, I guess. A point for Seek and Peak, and now it's getting close. 2-2. Two, two. Can the Seek and Peak guys deny the first map win for Ira in this matchup? Oh, game of a nice rush here. Can I stop him? They hit him once, they hit him twice. But it is percentage for Seek and Peak and a turn around the game. Now they are in the advantage here. And let's see if Ira can get it back. This map that was almost clearly theirs already. They were 2 0 in lead and now they're losing it. They need to do more of the stuff they've done before. For example, this pass is their defender. I don't see one. 
this should be a cap, there's no one! A nice cap pass to Cobra Lava and the defense was sleeping. No one took care of this player running through, getting a nice pass. And then, you know, I can still get this map that they had almost secured in the beginning. A happy end for the French team. 1-1. One, one. That was much closer than the first map though, so it's getting more interesting. As I once again want to check, is the match already over? It looks to be over, but we don't see the results. Oh, it's getting entered at the moment, and indeed, Naves won the last map 3-1 on Climax, which does mean they will they will make it in Division 1. Fire efforts get denied. That is an outcome I didn't expect. But yeah. <coughs> okay. Back to... Ira versus Seek and Peak. So far though. They still didn't warm up. Let's see if any players are if oh, I can only spectate Kobalala or nobody. Let's see if uh, we have any pings. No, we have someone standing around, it's Crive. Yeah, one one. So far so good. Which means a few tips are already impossible. Uh, that means Yanni Hawk and Gamer are not correct. Hawk and Gamer who were believing in the team to win 4-0 each are not correct. But the most players actually went for a draw and it looks like this is very possible. Did you know, come back from a 0-2 on Lucid? No, it was the other way around. They were 2-0 in lead. Then uh, Seek and Peak did the comeback and also was leading the last round. It looked like they would do a comeback. But in the end, Ira was able to take the, la the like, comeback on the last round, if you want so. And win it after all. They were 2-0 in lead already on, on Lucid. And now we're going to uh, Aeon. And I'm happy to see I got one more time three points uh, from the match. Naves versus Prey 4. Very happy. As well as this Ivan and Lieber. Don't get any points. Which are ahead of me. Nice. So. Hawken dying to Okapuk. And maybe she can get a pass to Grif. No, the fighting Cobra had my. Mouse not in the hand, sorry. Pass to Hawk, and, but actually, maybe not so good. Yeah, that, that's the sort of thing I said about Ion. You're safe n nowhere, really. The middle is has no strong high grounds, you can get pushed everywhere. So the ball is always under pressure, you always need to move around a lot. Do short passes, quick passes. A lot of killing in the middle. Here is one of the passes that works out. But these passes, they need to be quick. And then, again, moving around. Passing again. This is how you play Ion. It is a pick from Seek and Peak. And this is definitely their playstyle. That's what they're doing the other two maps already before. Just always passing to the next person. <laughs> looking for the person to pass to. This one does not connect. Where's the kill on Grif? It doesn't happen. Now it does. Way too late. And Gamer can get to this very powerful power pa power block here. But he doesn't make the move as Chatik is in a good position to block it off. So they also know what they're doing. Ah. But this one doesn't work out for them. And it's against the Peak. That has the upper hand here. Or at least the ball. And I think again didn't show stats at the end of the map. Why do I always do that? It showed it during the match and never at the end. Never at the end. <coughs> okay. 
That was my ping, I'm sorry. Everyone looking at the Discord getting too baited. I explained it before, I resist, uh, I, I will not turn on the well, notification uh, like off, you know. Uh, I fucked that sentence. Oh, can Hawken? Oh, nice move! He moves very well, but in the end, Cryf is still there to stop him. It was almost a excellent move there to cap. Oh, too many rockets coming here for Oki to stay alive. Uh, what is happening? Uh, Chatik ends up with the ball. And they're getting actually pretty close to the second peak pole. Will be the first touch in this map. We already started the reaction phase, so happening is a little bit faster, but we will not figure out since the ball is not able to touch the hole just yet. I don't mind. One more draw would be nice. I like draws. But there's a still a long way to go. Two and a half minutes to be precise. There's a ping very far behind, but okay, dies here to Hawk, and I think this is... Oh no, they actually... People died before. It's fine. Oh. Okay, gets killed. Hawk does a nice dash here with almost no time to waste. And does a good percentage. Gets the ball away as well. Can he get a pass back to his team? He doesn't even need to because he's on this high ground. The only maybe rarer safe high ground here in the middle. And it's uh, now stick and peak that has to do a little bit of comeback on this first round on their own pick. I said this map would be well for them, but uh, can they make an attack? Oh, game under pressure again. And this is dangerous. They should not die in these positions. Passes do not work out, actually. What the... What? Hawken? 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 Yes. Receives the pass, the ball, for mere miracle there. And we have a pause. That one didn't went through, I think. You always need to wait for the round to actually start to pause. Uh, Chatting having some problems, but what they don't have problems is taking the Taking the first point on this map. Ion. How was uh, Naves vs. Uh, Prey 4? I saw the outcome in the end, but was it an interesting match? Was there any drama, maybe? <laughs> or was it uh, just... In I saw the first three maps must have been really quick, though. What was going on? Maybe some of the uh, viewers that uh, came in from the other stream could tell me. I would be interested to know. While we're, of course, also focusing on the actually ongoing match here between Ira and Seeker Peak. Both ma teams, uh, matches actually started at the same time, but these are only halfway through. Maps are taking quite long, but that's what I like. 
Oh, Copa wants to pass again to the other side. Yes, finds the pass as well. We give it back. Chatek is coming in. Copa taking a fight with Game Rocks here in the meantime. Both exchanging each one armor. But Hawken has other problems as well. It's not just Gamer who's defending. But actually, one attacker is quite far in. Hawken finds a way to get under the pole. There's a defender there. One of the attackers died. Can Hawken make it on pole? Yes, he. No? Maybe? Yes? Okay, Chatek just kills everyone. So an easy point here for Irae and a 2 0 in lead. Can I take it quick? After this little pause, Chetik has no problems anymore. He can just kill the opponent team. Oh, Cryf. Already here in the promising attack, but the pressure is on. He has to make this pass, but he doesn't survive long enough to make it. Also, didn't hit anyone. Is Copper going for a contra rush? No. The pass is going to Hawken for the heal. He will take the right side where Uke is. That's, um, both going for the tunnel. Uh, baits this while Copper is actually on pole. Will there be a pass coming? I see a pass, but this one doesn't connect. This it does actually connect to Gamer and Copper disengages. Here we can bring it quite far away from the pole. Brings it back. There's still there's still a red guy on the spawn. And actually Gamer can move it out so well that he will probably cap this. He should have the time. Dodge his rockets. He took one, but that's fine. A point for Seek and Peak. What the fuck is... Am I the only one that sees that this Austrian flag is kind of like uh, bad? Like the white strife is a little bit too far to the left. Unplayable game. Anyway, <coughs> still going. Element is over. Yeah, no. I was asking how it was. I saw the first stream maps were fast, um, and I was asking if there's any drama. But the uh, chat left me alone like my mom did when I was born. No drama? Very sad. I mean, very good, of course. Now, the result I saw. I looked into it every now and then. I was surprised that the three maps were over so fast, the first three. Oh, pass connects. Finally to Cryf. Actually, a pass to Gamer, but it does hit the edge this time. Not going through the pillar. Like on Kubota. Pass another one. Going to Gamer. He has only one defender, now it's two. It was difficult. Can he get backup from his team? No, he doesn't need no backup. Because it's Gamer Rocks and he just kills. But Cobra can also do that. Pressure is still there. But now Ira can build up their attack. Can they take this map home? Again, they were 2 0 in leads. They don't want to make it so interesting again, like on Lusa, do they? Pass to Chertik, that should be a promising one. How can also get the kill on Grive? Oh! Gamer ends up with the ball. Since the pass came to Hawken, I believe, and then he hit Gamer. And, uh, yeah. Very good. Oh, a nice catch here from Greif who was just moving to the position that Game wanted him to receive the pass. Okay, we'll be in a lot of pressure here. The team is dead. And yes, also she will die now. Game will have to fight against three people here. Actually gets help from the opponent team. And uh, looks like it should be. Oh, actually, no. Oh, okay. Took some time, but now the attackers are dead. 
Gamer should not go too far. His team is dead. Actually, he doesn't care. He just goes for the attack. There was no room but to be taken. But one in our players making sure there's no gamer rushes anymore and stays on pull. Uh, pass now finally to the his teammates. Go on the other side. Uh, okay, decides to go for a fight. Grife can take him down. Ah, almost tried to get that pass. Actually, they did. Grife picking up that ball. Getting a quick pass to Gamer, and he can cap it, and we're again on 2-2. Iral! They <laughs> starting off on the map so well, and then they make it interesting. But this time, can they still win it like they didn't lose it? Or will they also actually get the dramatic 3-2 loss on the map that they lead it to 0? Gamer actually going forward again already. But uh, gets taken down. Drive in a comfortable position here. He can't be pressured really. And is it getting even the chance to pass back to Gamer? It was a bit too early, I believe. And I don't know what the purpose of this pass really now was. And I actually uh, dies now with the Paul. I think Drive could have very well kept that as well. Would have been more aware of what's going on. As there was also no pressure really on him. And so it's now Ira's chance again to do something. Okay, falling on this left side. Cooper as well though. So it's only Hawken and Chertik. Chertik getting the kill on Gamer. They're trying to build up over the left side, but the longer they take, the more difficult it will become as Chertik now also falls. And now... The attack is over. Took a bit too long here. You cannot def uh, keep an attack up so long against defenders that are respawning. Paul is still on the side of Seek and Peak. Gamer will use the well known move here to change that. He's behind the red guy that doesn't notice him. But again, one of the defenders, and I believe it should be, yeah, it's Shertig. That makes sure that... Oh, intercepts this nice pass. That was more lucky than actually attended. Oh, Hawken on pole, making sure Gamer can't rush the pole. It stays at a 0-0 zero, zero when it comes to percentage. A draw, potentially. But that's still a long way to go. Cobra gets the pass without even needing to heal. So maybe that he's the... Like default ball carrier in this team with his good obstacle skills that's a good choice chatting and hawk and die what will he do with this task that he has been given he dies <coughs> this casting is really not good for my cracked voice right now but I will do my best to give you the entertainment that you deserve for clicking on an hype MVT uh, no. A COT stream. Okay, looking for the pass on Gamer, but I think there's pressure on Gamer. Not really. Oh, this looks promising for Stick and Peak. Going on the other side, but it was too low, and I don't know if this will work out. Gamer would need to get like a lot of kills now to actually get something out of this. Can Grive. What was his plan here? Game plan? Just hiding in the spawn? Nope. Dying. Uh, Hawken using the time that they got to respawn, refill his armor. Oh. Oh, Gamer getting two kills here. That's very strong. They gave him a lot of points as well. This was both on the ball carrier. Yeah, he has a lot of points, most hits. The passes are so one sided. Actually, is there a attack still going on? Yes, there is. Oh, cry fooling the defenders here, playing around, but now getting the getting killed by Chatik. Uh, also, game of force, and so does okay, maybe not yet. She will try to get the kill on the ball carrier. He does, she does one damage. Oh, co-production that rocket staying alive for a little bit longer, maybe a little bit longer, longer. No, it's just a little bit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they saw, okay. Oh. Wait, she didn't get a pass. Okay, we're going on pull, it's instant. Can that be a pass? It's through the walls. They opened it, but the rockets did not connect. There was also two defenders that could have gotten the pass. But a nice try here. They could have won the map of that. And instead, we're now looking closer towards a potential draw, but no! It looks very good now, suddenly for Iran. It's instant and they have three people in attack and... Oh my god! Cobra was so close! Gamer got that last kill. Oh, he could sniff that pole. And Chertik got also on pole again, but the ball dies. Well... Good for me. I will get my draw, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, where is Cobra looking? He maybe thought there was some more attacker in front of him. Last chance here for Team Seek and Peek. Will they try it or will they go for the draw? Okay. Could look towards the pole, but. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. There was a small chance, maybe. Some dream drops, I think. What does it smell like? It smells like victory, but instead of victory, it was burnt victory. Because they didn't touch. Oh, Hook <laughs> gets this double and Hawk and takes the ball as well. I don't know why there should be tra frame drops. I didn't have any frame drops, so it must be either the stream or on your side. I blame you. Just because I can't. It can't be my fault. I'm perfect. <coughs> Hawking going for a quick attack here. Does not get the war jump here for some reason. Uh, they took care of this attack quite nice. The second peak defense. Some pressure on ball, but this is a good position to hold the ball. Actually, maybe not that good if you don't get any support. But, uh. <laughs> I was supposed to say, okay, oh, can save it maybe, but then Chad Cryf kills her. In the end, I think they got control of the situation after some struggling. Oh, pass maybe on the bumper? There was a ping to it. Crash just does a fake pass, tries to the... Did he shoot three rockets? Can I not count or did he actually shoot three rockets? Why would he do that? Maybe they have a tactic where they say the the one that wants to receive the pass should also shoot at least one rocket or something. But uh, if you really want to open the gate and get a pass through, then you need to shoot four rockets, right? Maybe opening here. Yeah, Hawken getting close to pole. There's two defenders. Oh, and Cobra gets killed nicely here, which makes this attack so much harder. But Hawken does a nice move. It gets killed from both sides here. Cry for Gamer at the same time. Maybe another draw. Maybe one more. I wouldn't be against it. But at the end of the day, someone will win this map. Will it be Ra? Or will it be sneak and peek? Find out by watching this intense match up. This will not be an attack. He, the German player Kreif, goes back to give his team the ball and a chance to build up an attack. Came out once again, sees there's no real defender in front of him, but then they're next to him and they kill him. Oh, oh. Came out aggressive on the ball like always. Works out for him. We again in reduction phase, caps getting faster. Look 
Pogue the only girl in the Sweeper League here in ball possession right now. It's a dangerous spot though. If she dies here, they get a serious trouble. But she can move around nicely and with the support of her team. They actually can save this and it's not over yet. Let's move here back from Gamer. He needs to rotate as the teammates keep dying. Okay, can take the phalanx here. Gamer going behind her. Trying to translate this into an attack. Nice, nice moves here. It's very feels very comfortable in there, you can see. Does he do the move? Yes, he does use a secret power block. But not a problem for the Yara defense. They can reward all of, of all the attackers chatting now. Lead with the hits quite a lot. And uh, have way more damage. Once again, passing in more possession though. On the sides of a uh, secret peak, Hawking receives a pass. It's almost instant. He just needs to touch this. But instead, the uh, Grave gets the ball. But it should be limited. No! <laughs> Jetic doesn't dare. It's just this little touch they need and it would win the map. But what was that Cobra not wanting that pass and jumps away? <laughs> oh, the back steps are also very heavily on Secret Peak side. Pressed by such a long map that the uh, Ira doesn't have more. Oh, you can tell it's getting more tense. No one wants to uh, lose this round, so the defense is quite strong. No, especially now in instant. Ah, uh, actually, Gamer gets a pass. I expected the wrong person here. I'm sorry. But, that was Secret Peak. Taking the pass, getting the map. And now, you can co cast the last map. I would be very glad because my voice is dying. Style. Let's have some chill cast with our style before um, they starting this last map. Let's give you some stats. Hello, chat. Hello, hype. <laughs> oh. Hmm. There's something I wanted. To oh, I wanted to show stats, I guess, but I did forget that again. I want to update score. That's it. Yeah, it was a very tense game on Ion. <laughs> I didn't expect it on this map. <coughs> I lost my bet. Uh, oh, my bet is still going. I was thinking it just could end in a draw. And then especially on Aeon, you saw that both teams, they are similarly <gasps> strong. I did believe in Ira. Yes, Ira picked Decades. I think it's a good pick for them. I think uh, they played it quite a lot. I'm one of the only teams that really likes to play Decade, I feel like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, it looks like if you spec Gamma, oh, no, I think he's maybe back, but Uke is bumping him right now. <laughs> yeah. Seems like he was AFK and Uke is burning, his, burning her ritual, bumping Gamma looks for good luck. I the think map. they want to maybe bump her, him over the edge, but now Uke can't find him anymore. Because he's standing on her head. <laughs> also, also hello to Rienstein again.
good. Now you yeah, can okay. cast and I can always... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, okay, I can voice over. Okay, okay. I can so, yeah, it's I mute see, myself uh, and uh, cough all the time. Okay. <laughs> okay, I only watched the end of Aeon right now, but looking at the maps, I think it's interesting that we had two matches right at the same time, and both matches had completely opposite map picks. Oh. As we are now starting with the last map decades, picked by Team Irai. Hawken is writing have fun, but we all know, of course, that he's not wishing his team <laughs> to go in front. What? <laughs> or, or is he? <laughs> Just making maybe things up. Um, let's see, Greif if the board is getting hunted. And it's now that. Let's see, let's see. Ball still being fought over. Hawking with the ball bumps his enemy away like it's nothing. Does some fast moves, but is he really safe in this position? I doubt it. Or is he? Copro on left high ground. There are pings, pinging everywhere, but no passes. But, uh, good enough to reach him, but Hawking is almost on pole. It's normal phase, 2v2. Who could just respawning, but Hawking getting 70% out of it. And oh, Gamer still has to run for his life as Cobra is still there. Trying to pass to Ukus. <laughs> Saying miss, miss every time Gamer Rocks doesn't pass her correctly. And Hawken saving his team oh. there. Passing Cobra would be good, but Hawken doesn't see him. Now it's too late. The team notices him, the opponent. Oh, what's um. Nice moves by Hawken. Looks like he really likes the map. Oh, I see uh, the pool. Nice oh, pass, Chatrick. Not connecting, no going himself, maybe. But Gamerox is too strong to be out there that easily. Again, trying to get the ball to Uke. <coughs> On the right side, giving the ball to Greif, who wants to heal. Okay, getting a hit on Hawken. <laughs> Kai fake passing on the pole. There was no option. Unfortunately, the defenders were not really faced by it. But Kai with the opportunity, the defender was not looking. But ah, didn't work out this time. Kofa knows the tricks. He knows how to defend now. And again, just giving the ball to Hawken. <laughs> Seems like they have one tactic. Give no, I actually saw earlier that they also try to give Cobra often the ball. I think he is the most obstacle, like, skilled player. Like, there was one situation where I wondered why this pass happened. Like, there were, Cobra had two armors and uh, did this, like, not necessary pass on him, and I was wondering if they maybe have uh, Cobra as the default ball carrier, but maybe there was also just uh, a teammate thinking he was one arm and passing him for that. Yeah, I also sometimes wonder which teams have a dedicated ball carrier <coughs> and which teams have two or three. And I don't know which team it was, but some teams have uh, have it dependent on the map. Oh, maybe really? Oh. But, but now Cobra with a nice pass to Hawken gets 40%. A nice double off. kill from Cobra as well. Now gets oh, the ball yeah. back. And yeah. in the end, all the Rai players die. Oh! Can Hawken translate oh. this into an attack here? This... No, not quite. Maybe now! Maybe he can now. Roof bump, power block, yes. Lick. Should touch oh, the pole, oh. that's for sure. It's a low percentage. Oh, gets bumped. 90%. Pass Chatic beautifully, but he gets bumped also, and now Chatic finally being able wow. to get that first <laughs> round cat for Ira. They had more than 300% in this round, so well deserved first point for them. Yeah. They had 335% to be exact, so I can't say um, they deserve that cat. Hello Thomas, you are watching Shoot Mania Speedball League 6 Phase 2, Division 2, Match 202? Yeah, a lot of 2s. <laughs>
And this makes it sounds like we have 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Actually, like, phase 2, division 2, match 202 is quite stupid. <laughs> oh, another point! Nice pass here, and Nira gets uh, again lead. Can they. A second they point? No. Second point, yeah. Oh, if they could have just won Ion. But we had this two times already. That Irae was two times in lead on Ion and on. Uh, the, not did they play for Lucid. On uh, Lucid, they managed to win it in the end with a 3 2. But on uh, Aeon, they lost it. So 2 0 lead is nothing uncommon for this match for Irae. Let's see if they can actually take it home this time without much. Uh, much longer. Trying to get get it. Seek and peak like to come back, probably. And they trying their best right now. Unfortunately, they haven't shown us a strong attack on this map yet. Yeah, we have so far like a lot of percentage for Ira, but nothing for seek and peak. But that doesn't mean anything. The match is not really not going on that long actually, and I'm pretty sure he is seek and peak. Knows what to do here. Nice move here by Hawk and his saw a teammate died and then changed his path. Oh, can he actually touch? Well, yes. Oh, ah, oh! It's the 96%, but it's not enough. But it surely is the lead. Showing us again that this pick was very good. That he really likes. He really improved a lot, he is like the leader of the team. And yeah, Cobra also very good with the ball and an obstacle, but Hawken all the experience just shows when you see him play. Now it's time for the comebacks, there's uh, Rinchen, I guess. Yeah, I also want to say Kirai right now with 67% ball possession. That's also not very uh, common actually for all the um, maps before. We had uh, always stick and peek with more ball possession and more passes. It's the other way around now. Stick and peek al always had less huge hits though. Yeah. Almost on pole versus yeah. defense, it's all but gone. <laughs> Cobra bad. knew this couldn't be fucked up, so he shoots the last rocket on Hawkeye to make it interesting. But no, it is the GG. This time they make it quick. 3 0. Those stats. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yep, this was a very strong 3-0 by Irai. Yeah, they like this map, they like Decade. Yeah. And when I played against them uh, one, two weeks ago, although they won 3-0 in Cibalba on Decade, they were the most annoying. <laughs> although we won 3-2 on Decade against Irai, they were so strong on Decade, they're really good at it. And now it seems like Hype is asking for a post-match interview. <laughs> it seems like I'm doing that. <laughs> but we have a draw. Yeah. I I draw. Should I come then? Sure. Cookies? I don't give cookies. No cookies. Wait, wait, did, we, did you move us? You yeah. better. Cookies. Uh, uh, cookies. Okay, both Give me cookies. Both teams Give it to me. came. Okay. Uh, sure. Give it to me. Here's a digital cookie for you and for both of you. Since you asked, so nice. No, I didn't get. Okay. Cookies. Give me a moment. He figured like, it out. He wants to give it to you at the meeting. No, no, no. It's fine. I can. Yeah. No problem. Cookies. No problem. I will wait. Uh, <laughs> give me a moment. Give me a moment. Cookies. 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 Ah, yeah, yeah. I can give you a lot of moments since you're gonna give yeah. it to me. Oh, we don't have a moment, okay? Dude, uh, I'm they already working on it. No, we're hungry. Oh my God! There you go, man. Here's your cookies. Yeah. Okay. So we have Hawken. The team captain yep. of Irai here and Ukepuk, yep. also not team, team captain, team but team. at least a member of Seek and Peak. <laughs> you did a draw! Uh, first of yeah. all, GG was an interesting Thanks. match. Thank you very much for this. Thanks, Thanks for casting too. So now I need to yeah. think what do I want to ask. Um, let's start with Hawken. I saw 
three the three last maps you had always started with a two zero, and then you made it interesting at least on uh, Aeon and uh, uh, Lucid exactly. Uh, was that uh, where you like sweating on the last map when it also went two zero again for you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially on Aeo actually, I was really sweating and I was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> My window is a big open. <laughs> nice. But uh, are you happy with the draw in the end? Hmm? Not so much? Uh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, draw is okay. But we should have one. What is it then for? Oh, okay, are you we happy could, with we the draw? We could have one actually. Should have one. What is about you, okay? Are you happy with uh, a draw here? Sure, why not? <laughs> Sure, why not? She takes it. She takes yeah. the draw. So greedy, we should have won. <laughs> I mean, you're currently leading uh, Division 2, I think, so you could pick? Yeah, yeah maybe, so I don't know, oh. but we're gonna lose it anyway. So you're gonna lose it anyway, so you have no trust in keeping that up. You could win some actual prize money winning the Division 2, you know that. I don't care. Yeah, you I don't, don't care. pay for the money. <laughs> It's for the thrill! <laughs> That's honest, actually. <laughs> okay, then uh, Hawk... Can keep the money! Hawk, and you want to win the prize money? Yes, of course. Yes, yeah, so you're you still... You also you want it! Gonna say, I'm gonna say, I like demarcated. What? No. Yeah. Is yeah. Happy. Demark is already rich, he doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, that's what everybody says, but in the end they all say, uh, oh, can't you know, for the servers. You can't keep but, the money. but like it's for the thrill. It's we make this press, but it's there's something to fight for. And if you're not interested in all, it destroys the whole fun. I'm interested in. <laughs> yes, in nice. Funny. So, do you still have hopes winning the division two? You're quite low, uh, so far. Yeah. And the straw yeah. doesn't so really get no you that far. That we won. No hope. No hope. No hope. No. no. Oh. Hope, nothing. So let's see what else Except is going on. He can pick lose matches. Huh? Uh, Hawken, who was the most annoying player in the opponent team? Gamer. <laughs> Gamer for sure. Yeah, he's uh, pressuring the ball a lot, right? And then yeah, and then he finds yeah. some rushes. He did. I think yes. it was in Kubota where you lost some. Very unfortunate. Uh, I think no, one of the first. I know we won. No, it wasn't. I, I know we lose. He was I remember one play that was really interesting that was on Kubota where I think you passed to Cobra on the bridge and then Gamer rushed yeah. him and he was just free. Was that like I a miscommunication mm. or? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah, something very specific that I just pointed out. Uh, oh. I just played the match. How do you know you mean you don't remember? Do you remember? Dude, our, our match was... How long was our match? I don't know. Uh, I'm streaming now for one and a half hours. Yeah, I can't remember one and a half hours it's not matches. That long. It's not that uh, it's long. It's super long match. No, it's not it that was, long. Uh, it was it was definitely that? way longer than the match before. Yes. Since they finished like three yeah. maps when you were done with the first one. Yeah. What? Yeah. The prey for against Naves was like they were done when you were on st just started the third map, so they were like twice Wait, as fast. Who won? Uh, prey yeah. four won prey three four. one. Yep. Thank you, Opsic, for so thinking for the content. Division, was in division one now. Uh, Naves made it. This one point I made was enough. With the tiebreaker, they actually make it into division one. Firefighters. Oh, so Firefighters is in Division 2, yeah. Division 2. Yeah. Which, so which I'm leading. personally really happy about because we lost 4 0 against them, so we don't have to play against them anymore. <laughs> we lost 4 0 against them? Yeah. What? I think it was quite unfortunate. We, won f like, we lost the first three maps 3 2, but anyway, it's not about Firefighters. I mean, this is the so great. 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 You won against uh, Airstyle. Yeah, but they were easy. easy. They were easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, won, you lost against Fire Ferrets, okay. Yeah. People can have a bad day. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what else no, can right. I ask about the match? Yeah. Okay, who was the most annoying opponent for ah. your team? What do you think? Huh? Who was the most annoying Irai player? For me or for my team? Uh, Both. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> Traffic, because he was like dancing around me all the fucking time. <laughs> That's so nice. Yes. Stop laughing! You know, it was it's our true. strategy actually. Making dancing okay. Uh, yeah, I noticed something on at least the first stream map, the last one was a bit different, but on the first stream map it was always Ira with the uh, way more damage. But uh, Secret Peak had way more ball possession and way more passes. I actually remembered Ira being quite strong in passing as well, but that didn't work out quite that well in this match, did it? No. Like you had way less passes than Ira uh, than Secret Peak. <laughs> Was that like a strategy that you choose, okay, that you like passing a lot, to save the ball? Yeah, it was no, really annoying. Through, like what we should do and where and blah blah blah. I'm not gonna talk about strategies really. But uh, like we we talk how what what we should do. Of course, the, keeping the secret uh, strategies. Just have three matches, matches to go. Peak. Just passing all one, then passing to gamer, gamer rushing. <laughs> no. It was almost this strategy. Close, close. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. On Ion, it was basically you and Grave on the right side and Gamer on the left side. Oh, I don't rush. even know. <laughs> 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 they probably don't plan this far. It's so usually like no. people just like to go a certain side because they have more moves that. Uh, I don't think so. We <laughs> didn't. No, seriously, we didn't plan to go like. Grave and me didn't plan to go right all the time. Like, really, we didn't. We just like. If Gamer did go like. Gamer is very aggressive, right? <laughs> so if Gamer is going somewhere and he gets the ball and he's one shield and you can see that people are going for him the most logic way is to ask for a pass on the other side of the whole fucking map, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you often so pass... So that's like... strategic thinking! Like, no. come on, dude! Yes! I'm... One of you two? Could help gamer and it's one v one. Well, <laughs> sometimes I run to the ball carrier, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you talking you about? I am defending my ball carrier when I need to. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm talking especially on I am actually. With the passes, yeah. I just remembered uh, second pick always does the like very far passes back to like spawn pretty much when Kubota and Aeon at least. I remember that. Is that something yeah. that was annoying to you, uh, Hawken? Like the ball was yeah. being so far back? Actually, it was just those three guys passing every time. Mm -hmm. Just can't get the ball at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out quite well. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it was a part of the strategy. So. He almost, by the way, won the Aeon. I remember Copra, I think, was like yeah, so he close to 50 centimeters? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, was you it. destroyed my tip with it. That's, <laughs> that's, I think it was Gamer just shooting one rocket there, killing Cooper and so close in front of the fool. And now I get so no gamer. points! Damn it! Uh, yeah, me too. I think not many people <coughs> getting points. No, yeah. A lot of people bet on the draw. Really? Yeah. I did. Oh. We are like the new goat on draw. Or Orenstein, Orenstein cheated himself. Yeah, I cheated so much, so hard. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sure if we should let him keep that point. No, actually, no, no. like he we clearly, he like clearly <laughs> admin abused these, his powers to get these three points there. But so unfair, actually. Yeah. Anyway, I've been stealing too much of your time already. Thank you very much for no. coming for the post-match interview, and once again, Thanks GG too. for this interesting match. Yes. I have yeah, two I more know. hours. Not much time taken, really. <laughs> two more hours. <laughs> yep. I would uh, let this interview go on for two more hours. <laughs> no? Why not? <laughs> Nobody will be listening. You want to be here now? I'm here and I know you're gonna end it already. Jeez. I don't, I don't okay. have any more. I, I, next time I will not come here. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm... Leave him for a cookie. Okay. She gives. And then he gives cookies, actually. Maybe Game Over Craft wants to talk. It's fine. No, I just tell them you're mean. I am not mean. I just get, ask some questions and then I call it a day. Yeah, because the, 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 just tell them that they're useless questions and you try to draw out strategies. There. No, no, no. It was interesting. Yes. It was uh -huh. really interesting. Uh-huh. Do you want to talk about our strategy, actually? Yeah, what's your yeah. strategy, Hawken? Uh, we don't really have strategy. <sighs> That's a strategy. You're a liar. Why did you bring it up? <laughs> if you want to win, just play better and it's gonna be okay. And you yeah, know this I, I am the top supporter of your team, baby. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the worst interview of all time, based on Uka's experience. Uh, no, 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 that's what you say. Well, apparently it's not worth coming no. to an interview for the future, so I hope when I ask in the next match that anyone will even come to me to answer yeah, my stupid questions. I'll come back to Nice. Hawken, okay. my man. <laughs> <laughs> I like these post interviews. I always have like some, like two, three questions, things that I noticed and I would like to see your uh, point of view on it. And it was really interesting. So once yeah. again, thank you for coming by. Yeah, thanks and, for casting. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Thanks bye. all my loyal bye. viewers for tuning in on this interesting bye. match day. Uh, I'll see bye. when the next one will be. And uh, have a good night. See you around. Yeah, Stay nice awesome. Bye bye. 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 bye.